Y'all, this is Deontay the Bronze from Wilder, heavyweight champion of the world. And you're watching Real Fans Real Talk. Face facts, what up, what up? RealFansRealTalk.com Where Arthur Domus trip young and intern time For the white and black fans Asia to Manhattan I get all my facts from my bro Mark the Stats Man If you're not tuned in, I recommend the CAT scan uh -huh. And if your brain checks out, then you deserve a backhand <laughs> Sports, gossip, all the hot topics hey, hey. RealFansRealTalk.com Got it, uh, they got uh, the hottest bloggers Did Jeremy Lin hurt? We'll log on to the site and you can hear it from them first I'm talking about the latest, yeah, I'm talking about the greatest yeah, yeah. Go check out the archive even tell a neighbor, tell a body sent ya. From spring to winter, tuning in should be the only thing on your agenda. Certified co-sign, you know what I'm about, son. Real fans, real talk .com. I'm out, boy. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk .com. Real fans, real talk .com. Uh, Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk What's going on, guys? Good evening, and welcome to another live episode of Real Fans Real Talk. It's me, your favorite ladybug. They gave me another shot opening the show, so, you know, I had to do it for the team. We got a full, full house tonight. You know, we a little bit late. You know, it's a ladybug thing. You know, I had to make the show start late, so I had to start it off. But we got a full, full thing. Of, look at these guys. Just You see? Look. Look at, look at, look at. You see? See what happens? But this is for the ladies, you know, real quick once again. And we got to get into the sport, so I'm going to hand it off to the stat man real quick. What's going on, stat? What's going on? There's a couple of reasons why we're late. Number one, Ladybug didn't have her makeup ready in time. <laughs> you know, and, and you know, when she's starting the show, we can't let oh, her not, not be you ready. You know how the ladies money. are. Oh, I had other, a moment. The other, reason, the other reason is Trip Young didn't want to talk about his calves being swept. For a whole, so they collaborated together. That's why you got the net to pad delay on. the That's show like so that we didn't yeah, start at eight o'clock. Now, you know? now he's from Brooklyn. Now. 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 He knows we got two <laughs> special guests <laughs> yeah. here, so if exactly. we only have a half an hour, we got to give them time Literally. and not yeah. rag on his calves for the whole time. That's why he kept look, yeah. monotone. Listen, Super but the one that only trip young, ladies and gentlemen. In my defense, I didn't pick the calves to win the series, so it's you know it's all good. But you didn't pick them. You didn't pick them to get swept either. No, I didn't pick them to get swept. But you know. <laughs> you know, so that's it. Don't even, don't even matter. That's all right. You know, we'll be back next year. Well, LeBron will be back next year anyway. <laughs> I don't, know, I don't know about we, we'll be back next year. Yeah, okay. so, you, when know, you say so we, you mean you yeah, and LeBron, me and LeBron right? will be back next year. Yeah, 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 yeah. what I'm saying. But, you know, it's all good. Uh, Eric Sanchez, legend in two games. What's up, man? You already know, man. Real fans, real talk. Thursday night, we got a lot to get into. We got some special guests in the building tonight as well, man. Yeah. That's what we, definitely, got, definitely. we got rapper Johnny Floss and the announcer, Rucker Park, Mike Larry in the building. Welcome it's to good. the program. What's good, America? Yes, yes. Could, wait, uh, Mike Larry, could you give us the intro real quick? It was mad. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You did it on the soundtrack. We got to hit the intro one more all time. Right. Oh, well, being that we got real fans, real talk, I do it a little different. Same caliber, it's a little different. What up, America? It's your boy, all the way from across the bridge where hip-hop got started from the boogie down Bronx, New York, and they call me yours surely, Mike Larry. You can catch me each and every summer at Rucker Park, but today, right here, right now, I'm my real fans, real talk. Yes, sir. Hey, yes. yes, I like that. Yeah, I like I, it. I knew it was going to go down, and uh, first of all, shout out to, uh, to, to H2O, because, you yes. know, that's the connection again uh, yeah. with, with both of these gentlemen. Johnny Force yes, pulled up on us a couple of weeks ago when we were uh, with... Haran in the studio, and then of course Mike Larry held it down at Balling for Peace. Yeah, yeah had, had it going looking. crazy the, the the whole time there. But uh, welcome to both of you, you gentlemen, to the program. Appreciate it. Thanks for Appreciate having me. Appreciate y'all having me. You know, we going we since. Since we are decided that we're not talking about the finals, but you know, Mike, <laughs> Mike so Larry, we're gonna start with you though, brother, because because you do hold it down on the court, so at least we can still talk a little bit about the court. But we're gonna talk about the record, though. We're not talking about. <laughs> oh, okay, Larry, okay, because we we can go there. We want to pretend that the finals never happened. Yeah, yeah. That's what we want to get started. I want to hear what he has to say about the cast. Fast forward, you never know. Listen, man. Listen, real quick, real quick. Um. Rest in peace. <laughs> I don't know, man. LeBron's great, but uh, his supporting cast, for some odd reason, uh, couldn't couldn't help out. I don't understand how you get paid millions and millions of dollars can't it, hit an open shot. But that's neither here nor there. It was all downhill um, after J.R. Smith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well, yeah. J.R. Smith had what we be having back here. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so, you know what? Uh, man, could you start that on, that note, <laughs> on that note? On that note. Yeah, on that note. Yeah, that's that. 
see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Still bringing him on out. So, he looked now, comfy too. He looked yeah. great for that. Now, one. now, Mike, you know, uh, in a bit of foreshadowing, you, we had the pleasure Thank of meeting you. out at Rucker Park and having yeah. a, a nice convo. And uh, you you told us a story about the uh, two time Finals MVP. Yeah. So, yeah. so seeing him do what he did on the court, did it give you some of them, some of them flashbacks? Oh, man, I wish I. I'm trying. I'm not even gonna lie. I was in KD DM like, come back to the Rucker. <laughs> <laughs> we need you to pull up back to the Rucker. But um, yeah, he came, Kevin Durant came outside two time MVP. Um, Kevin Durant came out to Rucker Park and put on a show, and which is the second highest scoring record at Rucker Park, which is 66 points. We had um, a guy by the name of what I call him, 40 Light, because he averaged 40 points at Rucker, um, Rich Ross, who scored 68 and three quarters. So he beat mm. um, um, Kevin Durant's uh, record. But um, it was wow. something special just to witness, just to see him work in that caliber, how he just was moving, knocked down, everything was easy, everything was a little too light. So uh, I don't know how he does it, but it's a blessing to be seven foot with hand doing a jump shot. My yeah. goodness, if I had a little bit of that. <laughs> Listen, man, I'll be calling y'all like, oh, y'all need a sponsor? <laughs> but uh, uh, it, it was awesome to see. It was definitely awesome to see, to watch him relive, um, thinking about those moments, thinking about the time he was out there, putting on a show, very, very humble dude, engaging with the fans, um, ate some soul food right there in the park, didn't go nowhere else. They wanted to go in the car, he sat there, watched a couple games, and he put on the show for the fans. Yeah. And that's that's what we want. Now, Johnny, speaking yeah. of shows, yeah. <laughs> you also put on the show for the fans. Uh, we were able to check it out, uh, you know, at HO's last last event series. Real real hip hop is, is coming back. And I mentioned it a couple of weeks ago, how, which I thought was really dope. You had the whole the, the LL Cool Floors uh oh, yeah. <laughs> sequence of, of videos, which I thought was really dope. And then you, now you got the you got the song with uh with, with Mano as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got the video. We're gonna play that a little bit uh, later in the program because they the people need to see that. Yeah, so we're gonna play it. that. But just, uh, tell us about the live show and what goes into it. Um, actually, believe it or not, it's a lot of rehearsing. I think people just think that just because we MCs and we rappers, we just get on stage and rap. Fact. But for me, you know, I'm I'm the guy that you know has his phone in his hand and make working on my mannerisms in the mirror, you know. And I'm just really trying to make sure I'm heard clearly because you know us as rappers, we get always the stereotype of holding a mic and sounding muffled yeah. mm -hmm. or whatever. So I kind of work on little things like that to bring my show to life. You know what I'm saying? Now you said the phone in your hand thing, but I noticed that when you had the freestyle that you did at the concert, you was talking about those kind of rappers that be doing the freestyle yeah. with the phone in hands. Were you talking about somebody specifically? No, nah, no, nah, you just nah. saying in general? Nah, yeah. <laughs> nah, nah. I just feel like, you know, now it's like, it's okay. It's like comfortable. And, you know, the hip hop that I grew up on, it wasn't comfortable. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Now it's just like, oh, I mean, just pull my phone out if I can't. You know what I mean? That's part of you being an MC is Absolutely. memorizing your rhymes. You know what I'm saying? If you're not a freestyler, you know, yeah. you need to work on that. You know what I'm saying? So you always got to be prepared because you just never know when you're going to have to rap. You that's know what I'm saying? Fact. So that's, that's how I kind of approach it. You know Absolutely. what I'm saying? Absolutely. Now, in the mm -hmm. performance, we talked about the HO Music mm -hmm. Showcase. You uh, referenced some Brooklyn artists, but who did you listen to growing up? Like, who was really your inspiration? Oh, well, it's, it's going to sound cliche, but, I mean, it is what it is. It's Biggie, Biggie. <laughs> Jay, you know, Nas, you know, true lyricists because that's mm -hmm. where I come from. My father, he was big on old school hip hop, and I was engulfed in that with the whole LL Cool J versus um, Kumo D beat beef and all that, and you know Grandmaster Cass and all those older guys. So that's all I know is just top of the line lyricism. You know what I'm saying? So that's where I come. I come from. You know what I mean? So dope. it just comes out in my music. You know what I mean? It's dope. Yeah. That's Who cool. do you listen to now? That's like um, really. It's, a, it's gonna it's gonna sound it's gonna sound a little cliche because of what's going on, but I've always been a fan of his, which is Pusha T. Pusha T has been my oh. favorite for a while. Um, he bringing dark skin back. Shout out to him. <laughs> 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 He's been my favorite for a while. I like J Cole. Um, the, the kind kind of those kind of guys is kind of what I gravitate to. <coughs> I don't knock the trappers. I don't want people to say I'm trying to make it seem like I'm bashing them or anything like that. But yeah. I just gravitate to more lyric driven artists. No, that's cool. all. No, this. Uh, 
makes sense. But that's yeah. what makes music music. Yeah. Everybody attaches to something. And, and, right, exactly. and that's what I feel like that's what's diminishing the industry right. because there's nothing that we can adhere to. Everything is copy and paste a lot of this. Right, yeah, exactly. And, and we like those who set themselves apart and stay consistent in setting themselves apart. That's what yeah. builds that fan base. That's what builds that audience that people yeah. ask for. So definitely. And I got a cameo, though, by the way. You know, six degrees of separation. Oh, listen, <laughs> yeah, we, all right. Six degrees of separation, hey, you go, though. Got, all right, we was going to get to that, <laughs> No, lady, no, because no, the way you get to things, the way you get to things, I may get suspended next week. I may get a memo no, and we, I may get suspended. We can so spend you right me. now live yeah, yeah. on the air, so you good. We was going to let you, you Mike know, and Johnny don't know, but you've, yeah. you've had to appeal several suspensions to get yeah. back on the show. my Instagram, man. Like, they got my man. Unless you came back on our episode, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you, had, you had to start late, so we might have to put another. Uh, uh, nah, yeah. nah, nah, nah. It's been we're a lot of meetings with the commissioner's I'm... office trying to get you back in the fold. <laughs> that, right. that. You had mentioned something about MC, me being a drummer for 27 years. So when we was outside, I was acting, you did a yeah. live show, right, stuff right. like that. Me being a drummer, you said people lack um, separation, individuality, and being different. Um, and yes, I agree, and no, at the same time, I think a lot of people who have it. They just afraid to show it in that industry Agreed. because it's like if it's you know, if you don't look yeah. a certain way, they, they don't, don't want, want you to be a part. So yeah, it's, that. That. It was, it's the same thing with being an MC, being an announcer in these parks. Mm -hmm. Everyone say, "Oh, you sound like this. You sound like that. You need to sound like this." And I said, "Well, if they got the same DNA as me, then I don't mind sounding like them, but I was born different." Yeah, right. Exactly. Understand? So yeah. we got to stand out. Now you got you got a, a couple of uh, patented uh, catchphrases when you when you on the court. Yeah. Just, just uh, talk to us a little bit about the, the the mindset for you going into calling a game, because I mean the Rutgers, that's the biggest stage. Biggest stage. Out, out, yeah. Outside of you know, in you know the NBA, but the Rutgers is the yeah. biggest stage in, yeah. in basketball. So what's your mindset going into game time? Well, uh, a day in the life of Mike Larry, and that'll be out real soon. I'm working on a documentary, so <laughs> that's yeah, I'm always that's working. Plug, a day, right? yeah, a day in the life of Mike Larry. <laughs> yeah. um, I do. That's, it depends on the day. It depends on the time. Um, nine times out of ten, I'm in my car and I don't got no music on. I don't want to listen to nothing because sometimes this music will get you in a vibe yeah. and a certain type of uh, energy and it throw you off your focus. So I don't listen to music. So I take the drive, whether it be Rucker or any other event that I'm doing, I li don't listen to music. And if, it, if I happen to listen to music, it got to be something that's going to put me in that mindset. It's go time. Yeah. Understand who that may be? I don't know. It just have to, they have to be on. You understand? So, um... Uh, but the catchphrases that I use um, to talk about that, uh, depending on if you got somebody, they say put them on an island and drown them. That was Joe Pope. Joe Pope used to say that. Me, I put kill them with kindness first 48. We all know how that show go. So you got yeah. 48 seconds to get right to it like Thanksgiving dinner. There go another <laughs> one. So a lot of people's like, where you get that one from? Well, I like to eat. <laughs> <laughs> so on the court, they always say, it's, come on, time to eat, time to work, time to right, eat. Yeah. So I always say, yo, get right to it like Thanksgiving dinner because when grandma said, food's ready, we was getting yeah, right, that's right to it. It's time you to understand? Go, right. Time to go. You know what I'm saying? Don't let us say pie ready. Oh, <laughs> <You're right. laughs> you know what I'm saying? You put that next to the meal. So uh, uh, I got that. Get right to it like Thanksgiving dinner. Kill him with kindness. First 48. Somebody blow by and get a layup. Excuse me once. Excuse me twice. Have a good night. So uh, I have a lot of things that's going to keep people um, going. Uh, I can't bring them out all right now because I've been in the lab working. You got some um, new stuff for, for new, the New. Oh, I got okay. some new stuff. <laughs> when, 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 uh, when, are we, when should we be back at the Rucker? I should say. June 18th. What you was going to say? What you was going to say, Lady Bob? Uh, what I've been to Rucker Park one time. You've so been to Rucker one? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a Brooklyn girl through and through. It takes a lot for you to get me over the bridge. <laughs> <Sure. laughs> I'm Brooklyn girl. Yeah. I'm on my side of town. I'm not mad time. at you, yeah, but June. But, yeah, I, that's my thing. Like As a spectator, I want to mind you, I was probably like 16, 17 years uh -huh. old. Going uptown, not knowing any better with my cousins, you know, living my life. But... <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I tell you, it was the most like energetic, but it was natural energy. Like, always. you know, I've always been a fan of basketball. Like my, my family was always into it. So I always knew the sport. Yeah. But when you have just natural people there and like that natural pride, that yeah. natural hunger, it was just looking, I was just astonished. Like I was even looking at my home, cause like, yo, he look 
are good. I'm like, no, nah, but boy could play. Like, <laughs> like, I wasn't, I wasn't even in that realm no more. It just put you in a whole different element. So I was like, oh yeah, nah, I need to go back. So yeah, the Mecca of Basketball. Uh, right now we're in a rebuilding send me those stage. Memos. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, most definitely, and you gotta come back out. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm shame on you. And I'm but you're admitting, and I appreciate you. I'm grown enough to admit. We're in a rebuilding stage right now because um. Two years ago, the commissioner for Rucker Park, uh, Greg Marius, who I used to call Uncle Greg, um, taught me a lot about the business. And uh, when he passed away, um, we was in a rebuilding stage. So um, we currently rebuilt and we just changed the name from ABC, which was an entertainer's basketball classic, mm -hmm. to 155 Entertainers. Those who don't know, um, when we first started off, we started as the entertainers. So now that we're on 155, we just put 155 Entertainers. Try to bring it back to its roots and start um, from the ground up. But June 19th, we always start as a ritual the day after Father's Day. Um, at 5.30 p.m., we there at Rucker Park um, for a turn-up time, and, and the energy is going to be live. Um, whether it be five people in the stands or 5,000 people in the stands, you're going to yeah. get the same energy from yeah. me. Can't speak for no one else, but the culture is just different. Everybody's hungry. Everybody's different. Um, what you see at these other tournaments now, the Dykemans, the LES Express, um, the Watson, the Gersh, and Brooklyn, Gersh, shout out to Gersh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. See, yeah, I'm on a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't, don't, that's family over there, fly tie. Yeah, yeah. Shout don't, out don't to family, family over there. So, Brooklyn, yeah, man. and that's another yeah. thing you ain't gonna never, I ain't got a hate in my blood. I don't know what that is. You understand? Right, right. But shout out to all those, but those was birthed from Rucker. Yeah. You right. seen Rucker? Like, how, no, what could a, we do? You understand? So, everything comes around full circle. You understand? Dykeman I'm happy. This past Monday. This past Monday, Dykeman was up there. Um, um, shout out to Dave Cha-Ching, the man, the man with many friends. Um, he was doing his thing and um, uh, got a shout out Red Bull. Uh, uh, me, me and Red Bull signed. Um, uh, Nike got a shout out Nike um, doing the New York versus New York. That's a high school event. Okay. We go to each park. So um, they just called me yesterday and told me they wanted to do a couple games. So sign the deals, you know what I mean? Sail the deal, lock it in. So congratulations! Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm excited about that. I, listen, it's only one way to go is up. That's a fact. And I always tell everybody this: even when it seems like you're losing, you're winning. Yeah. Because being at a standstill is not always bad. Because it's time to learn. Time you to, learning. you know what I mean? That's you're trying to recuperate. Everybody moves so fast, you could miss your stop. Then you Absolutely. had a GPS lady telling you rerouting. That's a, fact. That's a fact. So we don't we don't want to lose no no time, but we do want to get into this video. I'm gonna let them in the booth when y'all tell us it's ready to go. We got to get into that uh, Johnny Floss and uh, Mayno joint real yeah, quick. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Appreciate to, to Mayno. Facts. You know, yeah, whole, shout out to the whole real Brooklyn. cool, humble dude, man. It was dope working with him. Definitely. That's, that's Mayno, we need you at 55th. Stop playing. Come through, man. <laughs> Mayno at the record. What up? Yeah. Yes, sir. And Johnny, we need a whole of y'all. <laughs> that's a fact. Come through. Just let us know. Y'all point to us when it's go time, but we definitely gonna check that out in a minute. Make sure y'all keeping us up with us. How was it like working with Mano? But you answered it before I asked it, but it's all good. Hold on, I think they're ready. I think they're ready. Are we ready? Let's get to it then. Are we gonna keep it for for a quick second? All right, we good. We we. All right, we good. The video's playing. That's what we need the TV in. See if you can get them to bring the monitor real quick. Like, yeah, Blake. everybody else get yeah. to see it with yeah. the TV. Yeah. <laughs> I know, Thanks right? So <laughs> That's no, you got to get the extra view on YouTube. Facts, <laughs> That's facts. Right. facts. trying to go past the live feed, or? Yeah. There you go. So we'll just do a. We'll do we're, going a to, we're going to 9 30, right? Yeah. Right. But we're going to stop at, at 9 and um, they're going to play the credits and then we're going to come back until 9. Two, one. All right, we are back live here on Real Fans Real Talk where our special guests Mike Larry and Johnny Floss. You just saw the Johnny Floss video with Mano. 
Um, we had a little technical difficulty, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, we had to work it out. But make sure you check it out. Uh, make sure you follow them on Instagram, too. Or just search Johnny Floss on YouTube. He's got a few videos out there. You can check him out. Yes, sir. And we'll keep watching yes, the videos. Even when you watch it the first time, if you're going to like it, you click it again, refresh yeah, the page yeah. and again, and watch it one more time. Yes, and then kick the word out to your friends For and their friends and their friends yeah. and, and tell them that's like how we move. Share, yes, that's right. Exactly. That's how yes, we yes. move. And if you got multiple <laughs> Gmail <laughs> accounts. Exactly. You got to each one. Yes, yes, yes. Comment. Get the you mics know. up, man. Exactly. Yes, yes, yes. You trying to get the blue certified. I got time. Exactly. We out here working, man. Living our best lives out here. Y'all better stop playing with us. Absolutely. But uh, tell us about that whole process of actually of going about getting Mano to do the song. How you know how was that? And then actually, because you know sometimes you can get a guy to do the song, but then when it's time to shoot the video, mm -hmm. they're not around. Right, right, so right. So you still got. I mean, I know you know you guys are both in Brooklyn, right. but still, you know, like Mano's that, got man. a crazy schedule. You guys, your own schedule. Absolutely. So tell us about the whole process. Um, so I basically I met Mano out in Toronto. Actually, I have a connect. I had a connect out there that was running the show, mm -hmm. and she got me to open up for him out there. So I was like, you know what? I never been to Toronto. I might as well make a trip of it or whatever. And um, when I got to the spot, I mean, I just seen them and just did what Brooklyn dudes do. I just kind of like was like, listen, man, I'm trying to network. I'm trying to connect. Yo, what's up? So um, what's crazy is shout out his manager Tree. Tree kind of like burrow checked me a little bit because I had on like I had on a Toronto throwback with a hat, you know, showing paying homage to the city and all that. Yeah. So he's like, you from Brooklyn? Like what? I'm like, yeah, man, I'm from Brooklyn, man, I'm with the boys and girls. Like, yo, Brooklyn in my blood. So as soon as I said Brooklyn, Mano kind of like looked over. He was like, yo, let son come in or whatever. So welcome me with open <laughs> arms. We chopped it up for like 20 minutes or whatever. Then on the way back, we was getting on there. We was waiting at the same uh, gate. He was getting on Delta. I was getting on JetBlue. Yeah. And we got a chance to chop it up some more. So we exchanged information and all that. And I just was persistent. That's so right. it took about only maybe like two weeks for me to actually get to him. We chopped it up. I got to the studio. He was like, yo, what you want to do? Like, you know what I'm saying? So I already had my two verses laid down. Yeah. So he was like, yo, this joint is crazy. Because I had like three in the stash just in case. Because, you know, sometimes yeah. you might hear something, <laughs> yeah. you yeah. might not want to jump yeah. on it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I had three. So that was the first one. He fell in love with it. He was like, yo, what you trying to do or whatever. Nice. I was like, yo, just take the middle verse. And he was like, all right. He started screaming out some dude's name or whatever. And I'm in there looking like, um, so they working on something else? And the manager like, nah, they working on your joint. He about to do it right now. And then that's when I learned that he don't even write down his lyrics. So he okay. kind of just vibed out, laid it in like 20 minutes. That's what up. And the rest is history. You know Dope. what I'm saying? Dope. And then y'all got out, it shot was... the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We worked it out with the whole video and everything too. Because the schedule nice. did get a little crazy. So I had to wait a little while. Mm. But... It worked out, man. Listen, it worked. You got the video up right now. The numbers is uh, yeah. is going up. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, definitely. That's big, man. When you, you know what I mean? Mano is, is a legend, you know what I'm saying? As, as yeah, well, it, it was so you gotta, It was an honor just even just seeing him watch and just get to work and just come up with all that stuff right then and there. It was it was dope. Dope experience. Johnny, with, with your emphasis on lyricism and yeah. the art form in its, true, in its purest form, Yes. how do you feel out of town, you know, accepts you and, and their reception to what you do musically. You know what's crazy? I get more love OT than here, mm. shockingly, because- Facts of life. It's like, we have that, since we have that stereotype of being lyrically dope, it's like they waiting. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they do their turn up stuff, and then once they call me to the stage and it's like, yo, he's from Brooklyn, they like, oh, I know he got something to say, yeah, so they yeah. like this. Yeah. You get focused on So now I really, like, if you show me that, I'ma really kill Good. it, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Cause now I know I got your attention, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And here, not saying I don't get love here, but here is like, it's hard. Like, people feel like it's, it's hard to give, to show love. Like, it's hard to walk up to somebody and say, yo, you killed it. Like, it's nothing yeah. wrong with that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like we got to get out of that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know what? Also, to another thing, is there's like a million rappers coming out yeah, of Yeah, that's true, too. New York. That's true, too. Let alone it's the definitely you borrow by borrow. There's yeah, like, yeah. you know, hundreds of rappers. Very but, uh, but let's hold that we, thought, yeah. We got we to gotta wrap up the live episode of Real Fans Real Talk. So to end off with sports real quick, Yankees back on, back on top. And, of course... My favorite, LeBron got swept. <laughs> Thank you for joining us on the live edition. You know, but he still lady, got lady, more rings than the whole Knicks organization. Lady, ladybug yeah. apologizes <laughs> for making us right. late. Oh, man, we talking about the Knicks. You know, uh, Leanne, we're going to need more of those rings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good night, yeah. guys. Good night, Good night everyone. everyone. We'll see you next <laughs> week. <laughs> Peace out. Yeah. 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 We'll be out at 8 p.m. next week. <laughs> I'm gonna give it two minutes and then. <laughs>
fans, Asia to Manhattan. I get all my facts from my bro, Mark the Stats Man. If you're not tuned in, I recommend the CAT scan. Uh -huh. And if your brain checks out, then you deserve a backhand. <laughs> Sports, gossip, all the hot topics. Hey, hey. Real fans, real talk.com got it. Uh -huh. They got the hottest bloggers. Did Jeremy Lynn hurt? We'll log on to the site and you can hear it from them first. I'm talking about the latest, yeah, I'm talking yeah. about the greatest. Yeah, yeah. Go check out the archives, even tell a neighbor, tell him Bobby sent you. From spring to winter, tuning in should be the only thing on your agenda. Certified cosign, you know what I'm about, son. Real fans, real talk.com. I'm out one. Real fans, real talk, real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk.com. Real fans, real talk.com. Uh, real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk.com. Real fans, real talk.com.